Nicholas, let's talk about the fact that you went from one very successful show, Masters of Sex, um, to a very different show on network television. Right. Was there a culture shock going from premium cable to network? Uh, it's funny to think about it. The answer is no, but I try to imagine what that would be. You know, like, everybody, nobody wears pants uh, in network. You know, everything's shot from the waist up. Nobody walks, nobody wears <laughs> pants. It's very strange. Uh, I, I, uh, you know, there, there wasn't. I mean, the thing is, is that I, although, like, certainly these have been my most um, visible uh, roles, and they've thankfully come kind of one after the other, and um, I'm very thankful for these opportunities, I've been doing kind of like cable and network television on and off in different pilots, failed pilots or recurrings on, on uh, shows for many years. So it feels, you know, they all feel relatively similar. I, I think that uh, the major difference, I think, with something like the show I was working on with Showtime is just that it was such a, it was such a um, sort of emotionally fraught and, and certainly uh, risque show. And um, this show is, is a, has like very exciting elements that are completely different. And what I like, though, is surprisingly the characters have a real deep similarity. You know, the, the thing that I'm really loving about this, and I, if I can do this the rest of my career, I would be so happy, is I've been able to show really dark elements in these guys. I mean, in, in Masters of Sex... In Masters of Sex, you go from the bad guy to the really good guy. Yeah. Here you're going from the very good guy to the villain. Yeah. So there's, there's almost like, in a way, a lot of similarities, but also the exact opposite in yeah, a way. Yeah, yeah. It really is a thrill. I mean, truly, I, I'm very thankful. I mean, every actor wants to do a, a role that's complex. And every actor wants to do something that they're often not cast as. You know, uh, all my friends that are really big brutes, you know, they get cast in like big muscly roles all the time and they just want to do a romantic comedy, you know what I mean? And it's the opposite for every other guy. Uh, and I've, been, I've just been very thankful that, that both these guys, I get to play my dark side and I get to play my lighter, you know, funnier side. Let's talk about the sex scenes in uh, Masters of Sex. How did your mom, you know, react? <laughs> what did she think about that? My mom was probably easier with it than my pops. Uh, you know, they, they, were, they were both... Um, the, you know, I come from, I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. They're, now, my parents were never, like, they're not prudes, you know. They, they always made, they have a very, like, they have a great relationship, and they never hid their affection for each other, you know. So it didn't feel like I came from a, you know, entirely cold household or anything. But definitely the topics that were talked about in that show were, are, are more risque in the center of the country than they are on the coasts for the most part. And, uh, you know, I think it was awkward for some people, but... But also, I think that when, they know when, enough about... When you about, knew you had a big sex scene, yeah. did, you, did you have to tell your mom, hey, mom, if you can, don't watch tonight? No, I never said don't watch. I, I, I really, I, I don't feel, because the thing is, is that I really feel strongly that um, I'm not ashamed of this. You know what I mean? I, I don't, and, and then the show is not about shame. You know what I mean? Really, Masters of Sex, if there's anything that people need to take from that show, or that I hoped and everybody hopes they take from that show, is to not be ashamed of sexuality. And my parents aren't ashamed of their sexuality. And uh, it's just not something that's talked to the dinner table very often. But uh, I, I just, I told them, you know, I let them know so that they weren't surprised. But, uh, but I don't, I really don't believe in sort of like, Guys don't watch, I'm like, I'm embarrassed. You know, the thing is, is that I, you know, I, I, I do it because I'm passionate about it. I, I, as far as, wait, that sounds terrible. Uh, I do sex because I'm passionate about it. I like this, the, <laughs> the sex passionate. Uh, I'm just digging a hole here. I, I think, I, the point I'm making is, is that um, acting for me is about um, putting myself in situations that are very real and are very human, but they're also things that are challenging and difficult, and that's what I love about doing a character where I get to be angry as well as happy, and that's what I love about uh, Masters of Sex, where I got to show my sexuality in a way that maybe you, uh, you know, I would normally never get to express that, so it was cool. We kind of found out that your parents used to own an Arby's. It's not used to. They still do. Oh yeah, my dad has owned Arby's my entire life. He owns 14 of them in Omaha. Which begs the question, you probably worked there summers, weekends, stuff like that. Give us your like best, welcome years. to Arby's, how can I help you? 
line that you used to have when customers <laughs> came in, and we got to have that. Oh man, uh, I was on. I was at drive through often, you know, because I was sort of like I could kind of like chat it up real quick and be friendly, and then move through. I mean, you're really this is this is a, you're putting me in a tough spot. You have to imagine at one time I, I wore a ponytail um, in college, and so you know, imagine me tucking a ponytail up in my hat uh, and saying, "Hi, welcome to Arby's. What can I get you?"